Absolutely not, Ahmed. I can always just take some tea. Granny, if the doctor prescribed the medication for you, you have to take it. What was that? Is it Javad's kid again throwing firecrackers? There he is, in his weird costumes again. Go get Javad. Granny, this doesn't look like Javad's kid. Put on your glasses. Hello, ich bin verloren. We don't understand you. Hola, estoy perdido. You are in Bosnia, Bosnia. Ahmed, explain to him. You are in Bosnia, my friend. I'm lost. Help me. I come from the Sunflower Galaxy. My ship has crashed. Please help me. Oh, come on, son. Let's go inside. Get you to calm down a bit. Sit here, calm yourself. Not there, on the chair. Do you want to eat first, or would you like coffee? I just want to go back to my sunflower. The poor kid must be hungry. Ahmed, go to the pantry, you'll see under the second shelf, bring that. What's wrong? Oh wait, tell us first what your name is. My full name is Seto B23, but you can call me Zombo. Oh son, you have a very nice name. It is nice to meet you. I am Julsuma and this is my grandson Ahmed. Ju Jusma? Oh, just call me Granny. Uh, tell me, what were you staring at before? Oh well, the liquid you were stirring, it reminds me of my home, my wonderful sunflower. Don't worry, we'll help you get back. Let's lift on tree. Lift, 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 easy, easy. Hold on, we'll mess the windscreen up, just like that. Oh, your bodywork is all gone. It's nothing we can fix, though. Oh, this can easily be fixed with the help of a Dimibus Bongibus. Where do you keep it? Oh, come on, you must know what I mean. It has a long base with three buttons, usually red, and at the top is a handle with three cogs, maybe with four if you don't have... Do you mean a uh, hammer? Oh, give me that. So, how are you liking her so far? Well, I was here as a child a hundred of my years ago, but I guess here on Earth that was just a couple of days ago because nothing significant has changed. Really? Where were you exactly? What did you see? I came to visit the giant lizards with four legs. They were constantly screaming at and attacking each other. I see that the lizards walk on two legs today and they're a bit smaller too. Just so you and your advanced civilization know, dinosaurs lived not a few days, but many millennia ago. Whatever, let's continue working. Give me that. Let me help you. I don't need help, Earthling. I know what I'm doing. But maybe... If I just... I know who could help us. A real master fixes everything in a blink. The other day I damaged my golf. An expert, I tell you. Children, here are some cake and apples. Your tablecloth turned out really well, Grandma. From now on, it's my favorite. Is this perhaps a screen for extraterrestrial communication? Tablecloth, hmm, such a nice name for Comzibum. 
No, it's just a tablecloth. Well, what is it for then? Nothing, it's just a decoration. Even the lizards didn't have decorations. <laughs> Why do you need them when they have no use? Oh, son, Ahmed didn't explain that very well. The decorations really do have a purpose. Some decorations, like this tablecloth, are for making the world more beautiful. Other decorations, like those paint paintings and sculptures the people hang in the museums, are also for evoking emotions. But some decorations, like that kill him up there, that my grandma has woven and that has been carried through generations, contains not only beauty and emotions, but also our tradition. And even without all that, decorations are still fun to make. It is very interesting to see how every stitch fits into the whole tablecloth. Why do people make things that won't help you discover the 95% of the universe invisible to you? Is your thinking that confined? Your pointless art keeps inside the 5% of your universe. In other words, this tiny planet you call home takes up a percentage so small, it's not even worth mentioning. Wait, what do you mean just 5%? The universe does not consist only of the things you see. That is called the visible matter. It makes up, as I said, only 5% of the entire universe. The other 95% are mysterious components that no one knows what they are. That is why, I suppose, they are called dark matter and dark energy here. They are invisible, but they keep everything together. Without them, this 5% of the visible world would scatter around and destroy everywhere. Wait, 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 hold on. What do you mean dark matter? What even is that? Where did you get that from? Where did you learn about it? Well, you see, sadly we haven't been able to exactly figure out what that is. My people are doing everything we can to make this discovery. I'm very surprised that you aren't doing something more about it. Let's just fix your ship. Well, where is that expert of yours? Oh, get ready for this. Granny! Granny! Here I come! Why are you shouting? You know, Zombo, the people on Earth aren't as careless towards science and the universe as you think. We do want to understand the universe and discover its secrets. There are so many brilliant scientists who have devoted their entire lives to science. My dream is to become one of them. Then again, that's complicated. I don't know how to explain to you. So, you're making excuses? Well, that is not how you become a real scientist. Wait, what do you mean? Well, you didn't even start and you're already giving up. It doesn't work that way. So what if it's complicated? So what if it seems impossible? Your job as a scientist is to not confine your mind. You have to believe in yourself. The Earth could very well use someone like you. Well, I don't know. Do all of you here do this thing, just as your grandma does? What thing? Oh, you mean embroidery and weaving? Those are our traditional arts, and rarely anyone does that today. Understand. Is it supposed to make that noise? I have no idea. Go run and ask him if he needs anything. What? What's wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. Let's see what's wrong. Oh, everything leaked out. So, no fuel? Don't worry about it. I have a full gallon in my garage. A gallon? Wait, what is this? Phew, gasoline. Oh, I cannot believe this. Out of all Tetto B23, this happens to me. Only me. Wait, son. Take it easy. Calm down. Explain to us. What exactly do you need? I need antimatter. Now, what is that? You don't know about that either. <sighs> oh, 
I'm sorry for yelling earlier. I just miss my home so much. We understand you, son. But we swore we'd get you back to where you came from and we will do that. But first, let's get some rest. Come on, go lie down. You're tired. Ahmed, go get bed sheets so we can get him ready for bed. Here, I lit a candle for you so you aren't afraid. Good night now. Thank you. Good night. Oh, my dear sunflower. Get up, we have work to do. Ah, what happened? W what work? Now I understand everything you were talking about. Well, good morning. I see that the scientist in you has finally awoken. Good mor- Oh, what is it that you have here? What is this? Oh, who are you making a fool of? Yesterday you were shocked when I mentioned antimatter, but you're already studying it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm all confused now. Ahmed, explain to me what did you do to my wall? Look, at the beginning of the universe, there was an equal amount of matter and antimatter. Every particle, no matter how small, had its own counter-antiparticle. The only difference was their electric charge. If the particle has a positive electric charge, its antiparticle has all the same properties, but a negative electric charge. Today, however, matter prevails, but when matter and antimatter come into contact, they destroy, annihilate each other and create pure energy. If the amount of matter and antimatter at the beginning was equal, why didn't it all turn into pure energy? Why is there more matter now? Stop looking at the killing while I'm talking. I realize that you have antimatter blueprints all over this place. I'm impressed. Was there a lab here once? What blueprints are you talking about? The blueprints on the wall. What did you call them? A kill him. What else could they be? I don't understand what you're trying to do. Leave me alone. Do what you want. Explain to me now, what are you trying to do with those drawings? I told you, I'm trying to extract the equation from these blueprints of yours. The equation to what? The reaction from which it is easiest to get antimatter. Come on, listen to me. These aren't blueprints. This killing was made by my great grandmother years ago. These symbols have nothing to do with antimatter. Oh, but you're wrong there. Anyone who knows at least something about the relationship between matter and antimatter sees that the symbols on this carpet relate in the same way as matter and antimatter. I don't know what your great grandmother was doing, but in this killing there is more science than in that head of yours. If she took this so long ago, she must have been a time traveler. Not some far we use a similar technique when teaching children about these things. Don't you see that this symbol in the middle represents a black hole in the center of a galaxy, and that every symbol around it, or everything in the galaxy, has its own symmetric counterpart. Same shape, color, just different directions. Exactly like matter and antimatter. I didn't even assume this decoration had that much depth to it. Either way, there may be a lot of similarities and messages, but don't try to get your equation out of this anymore. It doesn't make sense. In the end, I'm not sure we'll take you back to Sunflower at all. Well, how do you plan on living with that attitude? Ever since I met you, you constantly doubt yourself. You can't do this, you can't do that. You have to believe in your own success. If you believed in yourself, you would have already been a scientist then. I would have my fuel, but no. 
What do you know about me? You haven't been here a week, and you think you know everything. Oh, my friends, they must be close. Oh, they are close, they're just some signal. That's amazing. But how are they gonna know I'm here? Well, I have an idea. You said that your people understand these symbols too, differently than us, but still, why wouldn't we make a killing big enough to send a message to these friends of yours? We will need a lot of time and we will have to weave with no loom, but we will do it as soon as possible. What did you mean by differently than us? Dear children, each of these symbols has its meaning. Just like Zomba said, there is so much science in this kilim. The frame, the zigzag line of the kilim, to our ancestors symbolize a snake protector, a fireplace and home. These other symbols are a variant of the star, representing the infinite expansion of the universe, our galaxy, our home. How come I didn't know this before? Well, you're not the only one, son. Well, that sounds like a great plan. I know exactly what combination of symbols we should use. Let's go! We can't weave a giant killing with only us three. Granny, how about we call the neighbors to help? Sure. Hello, hi. What are you up to? Could you come over? Great, okay, I'm waiting for you. Okay, okay, hurry. There, Granny, we set it up on the field. Did you put rocks on the edge so it doesn't fly away? Yes, Granny, yes, we did. Okay, okay, I'm just checking, just in case. Zombo, what's wrong? But what if that signal a few days ago was false? What if it's not my friends? Then you might stay long enough to get the award for the world's biggest killing. My friends! Oh, they are here! It is not a false signal after all! How far away are they? Around 120 kilometers. Come on, don't be afraid. Do you want coffee? Blue, 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 blue. Mm, they said you seem like really kind people, but we must move now to avoid the meteor ring. Just know that I will never forget you. We won't forget you either. What a shame you can't at least stay for coffee. Wait, so I can bring you something. I can't let you leave empty-handed. We'll bring you our killing from my great grandmother, so you can tell the universe that we keep up with science in our own way. Thank you for everything. Here, have my headphones so we can talk again, so you can let me know about the new discoveries on Earth and when I can come to get Granny's new tablecloth. Take care of my ship! And now, we will hear more about his discovery from the very own Professor Ahmed Kalcic. Good evening everyone, and thank you so much for the nomination. So, our research team at the Mathematical Institute of Bosnia and Herzegovina has developed the equation for the natural spatial setting that matter and antimatter strive towards reaching after being mixed. A number of experiments has confirmed our hypothesis, which represents the greatest achievement in the physics of elementary particles since Paul Dirac, as well as a great step in research of the universe's past. It's important to mention that with the creation of antimatter particles necessary for conducting these experiments, we have significantly upgraded the process of obtaining antimatter itself, 
Thus we hope that these new technologies will be great of great value to scientists of the future. The inspiration behind our theory came from tradition, from Bosnian kilims. The setting that antimatter and matter take up in space was, in strange way, being woven into Bosnian kilims for hundreds of years, and we noticed that and used that. Finally, thank you once again for this honor. Where did the inspiration for your research come from in the first place? I doubt anyone would be able to connect Kilims with antimatter. We can say that a little birdie told me. 